now let us discuss about four color problem in discrete mathematics let's see the first point this is the definition for four color problem if a planar graph is colored with at most four colors such that no adjacent vertices have the same color so we know about graph coloring we can color the vertices of the graph by satisfying one condition what is that condition two adjacent vertices cannot have the same color let this vertex is colored with red then we can't color its adjacent vertices with red color we can use some other color and we know about chromatic number so chromatic number means the minimum number of colors required to color the vertices of a graph so what is a chromatic number the minimum number of colors required to color the vertices of the graph so let this graph is colored with three vertices let this graph is colored with three colors four colors five colors so what is the chromatic number of this graph minimum number of colors so what is the minimum here three so the chromatic number of this graph is three okay the chromatic number of a graph is denoted by this symbol psi symbol so psi of g that is nothing but chromatic number now let us observe this definition here in order to understand this definition we must have an idea about planar graph let's see the definition for planar graph a graph is called as planar graph if it can be drawn without any crossing edges so if the graph has no crossing edges then we can call that graph as planar graph if we take this example here we have four vertices such as a b c and d we have an edge from a to b b to c next c to a c to d b to d a to d here no edges are crossing with each other so we can say that this is a planar graph whereas we have one more graph called non planar graph non planar graph means a graph is called as non planar graph if it can be drawn with crossing edges if we take this example this graph is called as non planar graph why because uh, let we have vertices like this a b c d e a b c d so if you see here here we have an edge from a to d b to c so these two edges are crossing with each other so we can say that this is non planar graph we can convert a non planar graph into the planar graph we can convert some graphs some non planar graphs into the planar graphs whereas for some non planar graphs it is not possible to convert into the planar graph okay if you take this example we can convert this non planar graph into the planar graph like this so here so what are the what is this a b c d okay next we have an edge from b to c so that edge is drawn here and we have an edge from a to d so we can draw that edge like this without crossing yeah we can draw like this or in this portion like this also we can draw okay so here the edges are not crossing with each other so we can say that this is a planar graph for this non planar graph now let us observe the definition for the four color problem if a planar graph so that means four color problem means that graph should be planar graph if it is a non planar graph then we can't call this as four color problem if a planar graph is colored with at most four colors at most four colors that means maximum four colors 
सो दैट मीन जीरो आर वन आर टू आर थ्री आर फोर सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन से दैट द क्रोमैटिक नंबर ऑफ ये फोर कलर प्रॉब्लम इज लेस देन आर इक्वल टू फोर लेस देन आर इक्वल टू फोर वाई बिकॉज हियर एट मोस्ट फोर कलर्स सो मैक्सिमम फोर मैक्सिमम फोर ओके सच दैट नो एडजस्टेंट वटिस ऑफ द सेम कलर सो इन आर दैट टू कलर द ग्राफ वी हैव टू सैटिस्फाई दैट कंडीशन टू एडजस्टेंट वटिस कैंट हैव द सेम कलर ओके नो लेट सी दिस एग्जाम्पल सो हियर वी हैव ए ग्राफ विथ फोर वटिस we have your edge from a to d next b to c b to d c to d a to d so let's see here let us find out the chromatic number of this graph okay so let this vertex is colored with red color let this vertex is colored with red color then we can't color its adjacent vertices such as b d c with red color we can use some other color so let us color with green color let us color with blue color so here this vertex d is also adjacent to a so we can't use red we can use some other color so let us use uh, some pink color so all the edges are all the vertices have colored okay so total number of colors are 1 2 3 4 so 4 so we can say that this graph is an example for four color problem why because the chromatic number of this graph is less than or equal to 4 it is 4 it is 4 so 4 means it is equal to 4 so this condition is satisfied so we can say that this is an example for four color problem so likewise in the examination you can write any example but the mini that but that colors but that number should be less than or equal to 4 so this is about four color problem This concept comes under graph coloring and chromatic number. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.